Hey, what's up there guys? This is vlog number two on how to start a t-shirt and decal business. And we had our awesome first vlog yesterday, had a ton of comments on it. I love all the comments, I love all the questions. We'll answer all the questions in the comments and type them in. And then I'm gonna answer some of the questions in future vlogs as well. So make sure to go back and check your questions from the first vlog. And we've probably already answered most of those. So the question I wanna to cover today and what I wanna cover in today's vlog was an awesome question from Dancing Sticks. So the question was, big fan here. Thank you for sharing. Now that you have experience and are well stable, what would you recommend in regards to a vinyl cutter and a heat press for entry to mid-level? Thanks in advance. Appreciate the question, Dancing Sticks, and that is an awesome question. Probably a perfect question for a vlog like this as far as getting started. So, as many of you know, when I started, I didn't have, and we didn't have a big income to start the business. We didn't really want to take out a loan because we didn't have a whole lot of money at the time. We were both high school teachers. We shared a car. There wasn't a lot of extra kind of disposable income, as a lot of people say. So what I did is I actually started out with the least expensive vinyl cutter. It was about $200 on eBay and the least expensive heat press, okay? Because, and the only reason why I did that is I couldn't afford the better cutter or the better heat press. I would have loved to start out with a Hotronics Autoclam like this. I would have loved to start out with a Roland or a Graph Tech. If I had that option, of course I would have. But I didn't have that option. And when we were starting our business, we didn't know how successful it was going to be. So we didn't have the income and, and kind of the disposable income to be able to fork out all that money off the start. So I got the least expensive vinyl cutter, I got the least expensive heat press, and I got my business started. And that was the key, was getting the business started. If I had never got that vinyl cutter, if I had never got that heat press, I would never be making this video or this vlog. And I wouldn't have made any of the other 2,000 videos on our YouTube channel, right? Probably not helping you guys as much, okay? So I always try to stress to people is, the best cutter for you is the cutter that you can afford. The best heat press for you is the heat press that you can afford. Now, if we did have a little bit more of an income and a little bit more of kind of a budget for something nicer, this is what I recommend. I always recommend going heat press first. So let's just say I have a $2,000 budget, okay? $2,000 budget. If I could go back to day one when I first started and didn't know anything, but knowing what I know now, I would get the 16 by 20 Hotronics Auto Clam heat press and probably the Silhouette Cameo. So the Hotronics Auto Clam 16 by 20 is around $1,600 and then the Silhouette Cameo is around $269. So I'm at about $1,869 in total cost. All right. But here's the reason why I do that. So a lot of people are probably thinking, well, why would you get the most expensive heat press and then a little craft cutter like the Silhouette Cameo? And here's the reason why is I know that every item I create when it comes to heat transfer material has to go through the heat press, okay? So if I get a very inexpensive or cheap heat press that might have cold spots or the heating element isn't nearly as good as our Hotronics over here. And it has maybe some areas it's 320 degrees and other spots it's 290, other spots it's 270 and so on, okay? When you're pressing those designs, you aren't going to see the difference. You're going to press that design and think that that design's on there great. However, when you send that to your customer and they wash it the first time, those cold spots are eventually going to start peeling off. Okay, you just lost a customer. Very, very important if you're doing rhinestones. So if you're doing rhinestones and there's a cold spot, you're going to think that all those stones adhered nice. If you're purchasing the stones on our website at the rhinestoneworld.com, the highest grade 5A Korean low lead stones, if you press those right, they are not falling off, ever. I'm telling you, they'll never fall off, okay? You don't have to turn the shirt inside out or anything. Those stones are not falling off. If you have a quality heat press. If you have cold spots, doesn't matter how good the stones are, okay? A cold spot, it doesn't heat up that hot fix glue enough on the back of those stones, 
guess what? The first wash for that customer, those stones are going to start falling off. You just lost a customer for life. Okay, so the Silhouette Cameo is going to cut a little bit slower. And it might not be quite as precise, but it's going to get the job done. It doesn't matter. It gets the job done. It fits within your budget. And now when you bring that design over to your heat press, you know it's going to press it perfect. And you're going to send a quality product to your customer. Here's another reason why, okay? So, let's just say we bought an awesome vinyl cutter, the Roland or the Graph Tech, and a cheap heat press. Well, as your business grows, you're going to say, okay, I want a nice heat press now. Now you're going to have a cheap heat press and a nice Hotronics heat press. Well, if you're a one-man show, you're not going to be able to, everything's going to still bottleneck at your vinyl cutter, right? So if it all bottlenecks at your vinyl cutter, then you aren't going to be able to use both the heat presses anyway. And it's not like you're going to go over there and press them both at the same time, right? However, if you do what I was saying earlier and start with that Silhouette Cameo and the nice heat press, well, guess what? Once you upgrade to a Graph Tech or a Roland, the 24-inch cutter, and now you have two cutters, right? So now you can create and cut everything twice as quick. Or you could say, you know what? The Silhouette Cameo is going to make my vinyl car decals, and the Roland or the Graph Tech is going to cut all of my thicker material. It's going to cut my magic flock. It's going to cut my glitter heat transfer vinyls. Uh, maybe my holographic heat transfer vinyls. My flock. My brick. So a lot of different materials. But you have two vinyl cutters that are working for you. It's going to obviously bring your production time down. Because both those machines are working. You might have multiple orders in which i would have a lot and i have my smaller cutter over here cutting all the decals my bigger cutter over here cutting the shirt designs they're cutting them at the same time boom 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 i weed them app tape weed them heat press them and it's going to bring that production time way down production time way down means your profits way up okay so hope this answered your question there dancing sticks hopefully it gives you an idea of kind of if I were to go back 10 years ago and knowing what I know now, how I would start my business, that's how. Now, if I had a $5,000 budget or I were going to get a loan, I would say, you know what? Graph Tech, Roland, flip a coin. They're both awesome. Can't go wrong with either of those. And then the 16 by 20 Hotronics Auto Clam, those would be my picks, okay? So all of those, of course, are available on our website at therhinestoneworld.com. But remember, this is only vlog number two. I'm going to be doing this all the time and every day. Sometimes from here, sometimes on the road. I'm leaving for Chicago tomorrow. You guys are going to get some vlogs from Chicago. Maybe the airport, maybe a Cubs game. Who knows? So make sure to comment right here below. Comment below. Give me some more questions, okay? I'm just going to pull different questions from all the different vlogs, and that's going to give me my ideas. I see a lot of things on marketing. I'm going to cover marketing in a vlog. A lot of different things business-wise that's not just production to try and help your business and share all of my ideas and, and all of the different pitfalls and the successes that I had throughout growing my business. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you do have any questions, of course, give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. To see yesterday's vlog, click right here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click right here. And to see all the different products that I've been talking about, click right here to visit the website. We'll see you guys tomorrow. You have an amazing day.